New at 10, bats have a bad reputation, but TWRA is spreading a message that there are some reasons you may want them to hang around. Right now it's bat pup season and this new and the law prohibits professionals from removing bats right now. Reporter Krista Lucas shares the good and the bad surrounding bats. Jim Weber from East Tennessee guards his home. <laughs> especially from uninvited visitors. My son was staying in our house this spring, watched my dog over the weekend. He goes, we got back, he goes, you guys have bats. He hired a professional. They eventually could get in inside the house and then we'd have a real mess with the bats because they bring disease, um, the bat guano uh, smells. The professional's hands are tied during bat pup season. We have to follow all state and federal guidelines when it comes to the bats. Bats are mammals and we cannot exclude them until after August 1st, just because the pups can't fly until that time. One of the misconceptions is whether they can attack you. They, they don't attack. Uh, it's not like a bird with a nest that'll swoop you. In a way, bats guard your home and plants. All of our bats are insect eating bats and so they eat a ton of insects every night. And, and so if you see the bat population go away, you're going to see insect population explode. Jim wants to keep bats out, mostly because of diseases. And it freaks my wife out too a bit. <laughs> he says, look for the signs. Just be aware around your house, look for the droppings. Jim's bats are only in the exterior. It could do a lot of damage to your house too, if you don't take care of them. So we want to make sure our house is cleared of bats. He will let his guard down when they're gone. In Knoxville, Chris Lucas. August 1st is the end of bat pup season. That's when you can hire a professional to come and clear out your home. TWRA says even if you don't do anything, bats will go away on their own by October at the latest.